Hello kids, today we're going to do a demo infrastructure is code. We're going to spin up VM and install Apache, install Git, and pull in some configuration files for Apache from our GitLab instance to kind of show how we can do um, full deployment, full stack deployment, and then um, as part of your change management process you can pull in updated config files um, on your server that's built um, from GitLab and keep them versioned and all that inside of your source control. So we're going to hop onto our Ansible Jenkins server here in the lab. Um, we normally would put this behind a Jenkins job, but today we're just going to stick with the CLI. So I've already pulled down the code from this guy over here. We're going to just run and eh, come up with a good name for the new VM. Jolly Roger. I'm going to get a kick that off. And what's going to happen is he's going to go off and spin up a new VM by the way of Cobbler and VMware. Um, we're using Cobbler in the lab to pixie boot our new VMs because we don't have vCenter and uh, it's pretty easy and it works pretty well. Um, uses Kickstart under the hood. Um, but what's going to happen is we're going to go out here. It's going to create a system in Cobbler. We see it's already there, Jolly Roger. And then it's going to take the MAC address. Um, well, it takes the MAC address from creating the VM. It goes up here and creates a system in Cobbler. And then we can tell VMware to boot it and load it. And so we see John Deere starting to come up over here. Oops, sorry, not John Deere. We're doing Jolly Roger. Let me refresh. console and we see let's download the install package from kickstart about to kick off the install and over here our scripts are waiting for him to come back online so while we're waiting on that <clears throat> we'll take a look at um, how we're doing all this we've got everything wrapped in the shell script first thing we do is we're going to kick off the playbook to um, create the guest and we're passing guest name on the command line and then we're going to do a, a ping loop to wait on our new host to come back up on the proper subnet. And then when that happens, we're going to notice he's online. And we're going to install Apache, then install Git, and then finally pull in the updated config file out of our GitLab instance. And so the way we're doing that is on the create um, vSphere guest here, we're um, creating a, a new VM and we're telling it what size disk, how many CPUs, um, blah blah blah. So we're logging into the the SXI host. We're creating a 30 gig disk, telling it to do thin, um, fix a three NIC card, two gigs of memory, one CPU, telling it it's sent seven. Um, and then that's what's actually building the VMware host. That happens pretty darn quick. And then we're going to um, register facts, get the facts, and pull the MAC address, pass that over, and Cobbler creates the system. And then at the very end, we're going to restart the VMware guest. Once he's all done installing. So we'll hop back over here, check. The install still going. All right, we'll take a look at the other files while we're waiting on. So the first thing we do after the install is done is we, we're going to drop Apache on there um, just for demo sake. We're just doing this pretty easy, quick and dirty. So we're installing Apache. We're going to start the service. And then we're going to disable the firewall and stop the firewall so we can actually see that it's working. Um, in a real environment, you'd probably want to just go ahead and um, put the firewall rules in place here um, instead of disabling it. So after we do that, we're going to do kind of the same thing with Git. We're going to install Git. And the reason we're installing Git RPM is that so we can, in the next playbook, use Git to grab our new updated config file. And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to, first of all, remove the folder where we're going to pull in um, all the Git files. Etsy, HTTP.com, and then we're going to tell Git to go grab it from this repo. Um, we set up a CI token ahead of time to be able to access this repo. Telling it where we're going to put it. It's a clone, depth of one, because um, we don't need all the history. 
and then tell it to go ahead and accept the host key because it's a new host and it'll pop up that warning message that it's not known. And then we're going to reload Apache with the new config or restart. You can do reload or restart here. All right, let's check on our. All right, looks like he's almost done. Let's run the post installation setup. Um, because we're using Cobbler in their Kickstart file, we've gone ahead and added some extra stuff. We're putting the Ansible SSH keys in there so their Ansible um, user can um, do stuff on it when it comes up. We're also doing a YUM update, and that takes a few minutes. Um, I think we're doing a couple other things. A lot of this you would do, like if you're spinning up an Amazon EC2 instance, you would uh, put these things in the Cloud Init section um, when you start uh, building that EC2. And that will do sort of the same thing. A little more difficult to do that with the VMware and the templates. So if we were using vCenter and we were building off a of VMware template, our um, Ansible playbook would look pretty much the same, except at the, uh, here where we define the guest, we would point to the actual template name. Um, and that would build off the template. But templates are a little more difficult to pull in runtime information. Um, they don't have uh, the same kind of cloud and in interface. As EC2 instances. So we're going to stick with Kit Start for now because it works. First rule of Agile is have working code. All right, looks like we're restarting. We're coming up. So our script, I think, is going to, depending on what part of the loop it's in after it figures out it's up, it's going to wait another 30 seconds just to make sure all the networking and everything um, and all of the um, extra processes have come up it's fully online and then we're gonna continue and run the other playbooks all right unknown host that's a good thing that means it it dropped its temporary IP and it's waiting to get back on the proper subnet 105 which is what we want all right, now it's done that. We see it's online. One of the other things we did with Kickstart is we went ahead and told it <clears throat> to use the um, system name as the host name. And so that's why you see Jolly Roger here at the login prompt. Go ahead and insert that. It makes it easier for DHCP and our DNS in the lab. If we we're going to be uh, doing this with EC2, then we'd have to do a little more work to make sure that the public IP of our new EC2 instance um, was um, available via the DNS name. So it looks like now we're installing Git. We installed Apache up here and restarted it. Now we're installing Git. All right, and everything's done. Good job. So we're going to go over here and double check. All right, what did we actually pull in here from our the new configuration file? You see we've added a few notes here at the top just to show that this is not the default config that gets dropped on there when Apache gets installed. So let's just go here and confirm that that is actually the one that's on our new server. So it's SSH to um, Jolly Roger. Let's see if he's actually Jolly or not. And we're looking good. Looks like the new file is there. Matches what we have in Git. <clears throat> and now let's go see if Apache's actually running. And serving up pages, and there we go. It is. Good deal. All right, well, that was a quick and dirty demo of some infrastructure's code and loading up Apache on the fly and doing some config from Git. Um, if 
we ever wanted to update, what we could do is, I know Lindsay's got another script that would do this, but we could update our configuration file here, and let's say, let's go to the Golden Arches today. Let's commit our changes, and let's come back over here, and let's just run the playbook that um, drops the config file on. And I've already got that preloaded in here, so we don't have to. Oh, I do have to change the host name. Jolly Roger. We're going to run that, pull in the new config file, and restart Apache again. All right, now if we go back over here to the Jolly Roger and check our config file, ah, now we see McDonald's in there. Good deal. All right, well, thanks, everybody.